Good day ladies and gentlemen, this is Vance Logic, and welcome back to Let's Play Castlevania Lords of Shadow. Here we are in the final level of Chapter 8, where we're going to be confronting the Vampire Dark Lord here in the throne room. The blood of all rocks has opened the way to the Queen. She holds the next piece of the God Mask which Gabriel must acquire if he is to be with his beloved again. She will try to seduce him, to glamour him, but he will see through her mask, I'm sure of it. He is so very strong now, and even she must fear her own death at his hands. I can smell her fear, her stench. Vampires can sense the living, but the dead she cannot. She knows Gabriel is here, yet she cannot sense death close at hand also. She knows what it is he wants. Poor, beautiful Carmilla, you will cry bloody tears before this night has ended. Ah, oh, another reference to a Castlevania song. Or at least, bloody tears. I can't remember what tune that one was, though. Whatever. So, of course, just like before, the, just like before with the Lankanthrope Dark Lord, we got a little health funk right here, some magic if you need it, even though, eh, maybe a little light magic. Maybe a little overstock on both of them. Why the fuck not? So I think I'm just about ready. Actually, I want to see if I have any, like, skills I can buy. Or at least ones I haven't bought yet, anyway. Yes, advanced moves, maybe. Aha! Somersault Strike. After Somersault over an enemy. You got Somersault over an enemy? Huh. Didn't know that. <laughs> maybe it's because uh, I have to, like, run over them or something like that. I have a somersault? Eh, you know what? Screw it. I'm just gonna buy the next one, or at least the upgrade. There it is. I got all the experience I need. Shit. I think I've gotten all of them right here. Yep. And I believe there's just like, yep, these ones too. Jeez, I have enough for all of these, so I may as well get them. So, Shadow Magic. Ah, Exploding Quake. Eh, that seems pretty simple enough. You just press X with Shadow Magic activated, hold Y for the first attack, then you just keep pressing Y, and then at the end you hold Y. Sounds sounds reasonable. And this one, honestly, eh, I don't like it that much. I might as well buy it just because it ac gives you access to another one later. Ultimate Shadow. Hehehe. <laughs> Crazy motherfuckers. So I just need 50,000 experience. Fuck! Oh well. I'm pretty sure I'll accumulate it by the end of the fucking level. Oh, wait a minute. What is this? A body? In my level? Yeah, there it goes. <laughs> Light magic. I am told that you are looking for me, warrior. That you seek to obtain the power of my other half. You are brave and handsome. Would you not prefer to stay with me forever? I can show you many things, many pleasures. Your empty promises mean nothing to me. Yay! Oh. You and your brothers have betrayed us all. You are the reason why the world is in darkness. <laughs> you are a fool, Gabriel. You think I don't know who you are? My sister in her piety wanted nothing but good for the world. But in her arrogance she begat me and brought doom upon herself. Mankind is ruined and you must choose sides. Warrior. I choose life, not death and decay as you have. Death is merely a question of perspective. We are not so different, you and I. Your God cannot save you now. You will be one of us eventually. It is inevitable. No. I will take the three powers and unite them. You would kill those who founded your own holy order. You are even more cold-blooded than I. Who is the real monster here, Gabriel? You. 
You poor deluded fool. You think you can bring someone back from the dead, don't you? Someone you love. You are betrayed. There is no resurrection. Only this living death you see before you. Join her then. Ah, shit. So this is uh, Car Carmilla, whatever actual freaking name is. I can't even remember. Anyway, we're not really fighting her at first, we're just going to be fighting off some freaking uh, vampires that are on the way. Oh my god, so just watch out for her because she has that lightning strike and all that shit and those, that guy just came back. What? Stop. Hey, at least I got another holy bottle back, or holy water. I got that guy down almost all the fucking way down. Look at this. So yeah, for now, just deal with the vampires and just avoid the lightning whenever possible. And holy crap, how did I not get hit with those? Dude. May. No guarantees. I'll take a guarantee that, yeah, I'm, I'll win. <laughs> I'll say I win anyway. <laughs> I can't even see these freaking vampires. They're like in the way. They're, they're behind the camera and shit. Alright, screw it. There we go. Fuck, jeez. I gotta deal with them this way? There she is. So this is her true form, I suppose. <laughs> so you guys see right there, she's uh, pretty damn resistant to the fairies. A little weak to the freaking uh, holy water and such. A little. Just a little. I'd rather use the holy water on the vampires helping her. Mainly because nah, they're going to be fucking awful. There we go. <laughs> Got a good chunk of her health out of the way with the little holy water that I just did. And let's just get the fuck out of here. Just deal with her physically and all that other shit. And I'm already out of holy water, so I'm not even gonna fuck. And he just. Okay, never mind. You bring him back. You know what? No, you're not beautiful. Them is the ugliest tits I've ever seen in my life, sir. Or madam. Whatever. <laughs> this guy's. Uh, this guy's blocking right. Fucking shit. Do I at least get my holy water back? That'd be nice. Yeah, I do. Alright, cool. Hey. There we go. And no vampires accompanying her right now. So yeah, she has an unblockable uppercut, so just keep an eye out for that. And not so unblockable freaking uh, regular attack. So, there we go. Use the fuck out of my shadow magic. Mainly because it does so much more damage, and I'm why the hell not? My freaking shadow magic doesn't get that much use out of the freaking puzzles, so I may as well. It use light magic a lot more than fucking shadow magic, and stop freaking so many variables, so many variables. You know what? Fuck it. There we go. And I got a little protective barrier around me, sir. So I don't have to worry about shit. I want to. Si I want to assume I don't really want to try. Oh wait, no, it doesn't. For some reason I thought shadow magic would cancel out the light barrier around me. No. Nope. All right, cool. Oh, nope. get over there. Get over there.
Hey. Hey, more fight. Please don't tell me you bring back more fucking... Oh yeah, she has that attack too. Just watch out for that. Now she has that attack. Now she'll just like send the shockwave on the ground. So just jump it. Jump it. Jump it. Ah. Honestly, I'm. this is like the second fight. And I wasn't used to it when I first fought. I'm like, holy shit. Or it was kind of more underwhelming compared to the Lycanthrope Dark Lord because with that guy it's just like oh you actually fought him himself before you, uh, he transformed with this one I don't know it's like you go straight into this fight with her transformed form also she has these bats that she'll just summon out of nowhere or fucking crows I can't even tell anymore there we go <laughs> but yeah but at least with the Lycanthrope Dark Lord, you fought him himself before he transformed. With this one, no, no, you fought her fucking minions before she decided, Oh yeah, I'll, just, I'll go all out now. It seemed kind of, uh, bullshit if you ask me. But still, it's an entertaining fight, especially... Oh, uh, you guys will see. You guys will definitely see what I mean, hopefully. <laughs> there we go. So, getting most of her health out of the way, look at that. No, I'm not. Let me get my wife back, man. How can you reject a man his wife? It's just like rejecting a man his mistress. The hell are you thinking? <laughs> that makes no sense, honestly. Never mind. I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. Who rejects a man his mistress? What the hell, man? Haven't you ever heard of the thing called polygamy? God did polygamy. Look at him. Nah. I don't even know anymore. <laughs> Oh god, who am I to talk about God? What the hell? Get it? God? What the hell? Ah, <laughs> no. Don't ever call me a relig- Don't even ever once consider me a religious man. I would like to be religious, but yeah, it's just not my thing. Oh, whoa, whoa. What the hell is this? Ooh. What am I doing with this? Get back here! Don't get it all. My shit! Fuck that! Yes! Now this, this right here is so fucking worth it. Pull it off, pull it off, pull it off, pull it off, pull it off. Gabriel, do it now. I think you can see what's coming up. Well done, sir. Well fucking done. I swear. Do it. Holy crap, I think I broke the stake on her.
you get fucking wings. Nah, they don't stay for long. <laughs> At least they're not that strong. Oblivion. Sempiternum. Daemonis. Soon, the destiny of every living being will be in the palm of your hand. I now know that the Founders of the Order created the Lords of Shadow. They are one and the same. They ascended into heaven as pure spirits, but left behind their dark sides. Why are we paying the price for their arrogance and stupidity? Tell me, what am I fighting for? Only when we look inside ourselves can we truly begin to understand. What is this sorcery? How far are you prepared to go to uncover the truth? And that's the end of chapter 8 with my squeaky chair. Holy shit. <laughs> so if you guys saw, we get Seraph Shoulders. And this pretty much acts as our double jump. So yeah, we can't really use wings to our full potential. Mainly because they got really fucked up according to the description that they give. Anyway, now we just got teleported somewhere else. And it's just a little bit more until we finish this game, guys. Or at least three regular chapters anyway. So if you guys like this part... Give it a like, subscribe if you want to watch future videos, and feel free to watch any of my previous videos, if you really feel like it. Next time on Let's Play Castlevania Lords of Shadow, we're going to be going into Chapter 9. And yeah, we're going to be starting in a Bones Forest. So, see you guys then.